soya beans farming. One thing I've come to understand is that eh? soya beans has a way of telling the farmer to say, I'm now ready. I think you can remove me from the field. You take me to a place where I can be preserved as you are waiting the other necessary preparation. Welcome to Chimasa Farms. This is Chimasa Farms, ladies and gentlemen. In today's episode, I just want to show you how soya beans tells a farmer to say, I think I'm now ready. I need you as a farmer to come and remove me from the field and take me somewhere where I can be preserved as you wait other necessary preparations. So as you can see, our soya beans field is here. And I've been showing you this field all along from the time we were planting to this time where we've reached. Because as you can see, this is now a maximum maturity of um, the, the, the soya beans. They have now matured the max. You can see they have even dried up in the field, which simply means uh, they are at a stage where now they're supposed to remove them from the field in order for us to preserve them somewhere. You know, we, we've made, um, we've just made trees where at least we, we can preserve them for some time as they are still uh, drying up. So as they dry, we can now do what? Eh? Remove the actual uh, soya beans from, from the plants, from, from, the, from the soya beans. So this is Kimasa Farms, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just here to give you an update. Um, and also let me just uh, try to uh, teach you but now we go about it, removing this uh, soya bean. So there's what we call, there's what most, most farmers complain to say, no, I can't do, I can't engage myself into soya beans farming because soya beans has a lot of things involved. It actually shatters in the field, you know, it doesn't give you a proper yield. But all those things, personally speaking, I feel like it, they come because of uh, lack of management and lack of proper, you know, following all, pro all necessary stages as you are doing uh, soya beans farming. As I told you from the beginning, there's what we call the, inocula the inoculation stage, whereby you, in you do inoculation for the, for the soya beans. You, 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 you apply the inoculants. After applying the inoculants to the soya beans, then you go on another stage of planting. After planting, you, you choose the root. What do I want to do as a farmer? Do I want to put um, the granular fertilizer or maybe I you put a fuller fertilizer? You choose your own root. But on the farm of ours, this time around we use the, what we call um, a fuller fertilizer. And in fuller fertilizer, from what I can see so far so good, you can see the yield. It's actually promising. I can't lie to, to say, you know, this yield perhaps hasn't given us what we expect, no. I'm grateful and I'm optimistic enough to say, as, even as we start removing this soil from this field, we are going to have something out of it. So this is Chimasa Farms, ladies and gentlemen. So at this stage, we are now going to start doing what? Removing these soya beans from the field so that we avoid it shattering from the farm. Because most farmers complain to say, no, you can lose the soya. It shatters in the, in the farm. It, the soil only shatters when you haven't taken a necessary step after it has told you because when the soya sheds off its leaves and it dries, it simply tells you one thing. I'm now lady. Preserve me. Remove me from the field. Because if you don't, it will start shattering in the field. Because when the sun actually comes, comes out strong as it is right now, you expect when they just maybe like there's a lot of wind that just does like this, the soya will shatter and you lose it from the field. So what we do now, we are taking necessary steps for us to do it. To remove it, we put it somewhere where it can dry up a bit. After it dries, then we have to now setting the whole process now of removing that to soya, we put in sacks, you know, for the market now. So, ladies and gentlemen, shattering isn't something that can uh, make you run away from farming soya beans. Shattering itself can't actually, you know, if you are just serious about a certain venture. You know, you just, you just understand it. You, you take the necessary steps, you know. So I just actually came to give you a simple update on how far we've gone as a field. I think you can move around. Just show them the field. So that I show you how, you know, how proper our service has come up. Have you seen all this? All this? 
Can you fail to appreciate it? Okay, but God has given you something, you see. You know, we used to apply for a fertilizer. We used to take necessary steps for us to see, to eat, to say. You know, we have a proper heal. And uh, as much as we can say, you know, but God has given us something. And we need to be, we want to be grateful for everything that we have. So this is Mother Farm. We are now at a stage whereby we, we are going to start removing the soya beans from the field, taking them for preservation so they can continue drying. Then we do what? We actually uh, remove the actual soya beans from them. So this is Mother Farm, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for, you know, following this um, uh, channel from the day of inception, from the day we just started this farm. You've been with us and up to uh, the, the end of uh, uh, this uh, season of soya beans planting. I'm very much grateful. And all I can say is to encourage you to say, you know, if you can't do it, you as you can't do it, who else can do it? So let's just take things on our own hands and say, okay, I want to venture into this. Have the passion for it. Have the zeal to make it, you know, just believe that you're going to still push it through. You can still make your farm work. That is one thing I believe. As Kimasa farms, we are going somewhere. And I perceive greatness. We shall surely move somewhere. So, otherwise, so far so good. I can't complain, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for following us. Thank you so much for believing that the farmer's eye is the best fertilizer. The farmer's eye is the best fertilizer. Even as I conclude this video, let me just speak a, sh a good shout out to Prophet Shepherd Bushiri. Been inspired, I've been, you know, motivated, and uh, all that we are doing right now is because we believe to say there's nothing impossible. This has been Shimasa Farms. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel, for following us. We appreciate you, and I believe that. As you are getting inspired, you're also starting up something, you're also starting, you're also venturing into this farming venture. As young brothers, new blood, let's venture into farming so that we can make our country great once again. Thank you so much for being with us. The farmer's eye is the best fertilizer. The farmer's eye is the best fertilizer. Continue believing. Continue believing. Why did I 